Tabitha. Good morning. Now sit. What are you doing? I see water boiling. You're not supposed to be having anything. It's nothing before noon. You are right. And we will find out the whole story right after this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload, upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so um, you're not supposed to be having any kind of tea or coffee in the morning. It's nothing before noon. That is correct. I am having hot water. With hot a little water. bit. Well, with a little bit of Redmond Real Salt in it. Why? Because I think I just want a hot beverage in the morning. We are in day four of this and I have been fine. Just don't have coffee until, you know, noon or one o'clock. I've been fine. You're weird. Starts me in the morning. So if you're new to our channel, if maybe this is your first video you're seeing for us, we announced this past Keto on the Couch that released on Monday that we, for the entire month of February, are doing something called Nothing Before Noon, where the only thing that we're going to have before noon is water, uh, no coffee or anything like that. Obviously, if there's a special occasion, if you have a meeting or something like right. that, you have no choice, that's fine. But for the most part, we're trying to do the entire month of Nothing Before Noon, and then when we have our first thing, whether it be a coffee, a soda, a Zevia, or a meal, we're going to post it on all our social media with the hashtag 2KKNBN, 2KK, nothing before noon. 2KKNBN. So if you want to join us, go ahead and do that. When you have your first meal of the day, just put hashtag 2KKNBN. So today, we are going to vlog our day. I've got to get ready. i got to go to work. But today is the first day that Rachel food, food. gets to eat food because for the month of January and then for five days into the month of February for Rachel, we did nothing but keto chow and keto brick. And you pretty much just did keto chow. You I didn't just do did keto, keto chow. Yes. I did keto chow and keto brick. But because we went away for five days, Rachel extended it five days into the month of February. I'm, yeah, I'm a, I'm a legal eagle. And not only that, we are omatting today because before I get in the shower to go to work, let me show you what we've got going here. We have our uh, sous vide machine going. It's a giant. Now I just put this in here. This is for the kids later. This is a ribeye steak that we had uh, vacuum sealed in the freezer. But that roast is for Rachel. But right here, that is a $77 piece of steak. Yikes. It's actually a prime rib. It's four and a half pounds. And uh, we actually smoked it on the smoker yesterday to get to an internal temperature of 120 degrees. And it has been going here in the sous vide machine. This is just keeping it down. It's been in the sous vide machine, 132 degrees since yesterday at about seven o'clock. And we are going to eat probably around three as an OMAD, as much prime rib as you can eat. What are you gonna eat? <laughs> Welcome to my she shed. I thought I'd give you more of a tour of my room. So there's that pretty lamp I got. It's like hummingbirds and flowers. I got that on Amazon for like 130 bucks. Here's my chair and the hat I'm working on right now for Joe, because everybody else has a hat except for Joe. I do need to get a better table, but that's the last piece of furniture I need to find. Right now I just have this folding table. It's working fine, but I'd like a, something a little cuter. There's my tree. Basically just a bunch of sticks right now because yeah, it's gone dormant but I wanna have some bird feeders on it so I can attract some friends like I have on this tree. I'm so excited. I see some butterflies fluttering around already, so that's exciting. And here is my fake fireplace. It's a heater, 
but I just like how pretty the fire is. So I like just watching the fire. And here is me in my pajamas. Hey, how's it going? Sorry about that, but yeah. Aren't those pants like ridiculous? And they're high waters. Good job, Rachel. You wanna see something beautiful right here? This is beautiful. First coffee of the day, like a boss. So how happy am I right now? Really happy. And getting happier by the second. Cause yeah, it is 1245 and I am just having my first coffee. I am hoping to help myself out with intermittent fasting. So I am doing nothing before noon, not even coffee because I found that during the holidays, I would start with coffee at like, you know, five or six in the morning and by eight or nine, I wanted food and it was really hard not to snack. So I'm thinking if I can just not be drinking coffee until noon, then that will help me on all my other plans. So we'll see what happens. Oh, worth a shot. Well, it is 1230 and we just finished cutting the church. I've got a couple more properties and then we're gonna go home and I'm going to get that prime rib ready. Right now, I'm gonna have a Waterloo grape flavor. What are you doing? I am now taking all of our yogurt. This is the yogurt we made. And you can see wow. it's a pretty thick consistency. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually put it into, this is a nut milk bag and then we're going to hang it and strain it and get whatever whey is out there. And it should, when we're done, this was my first te test batch, if I can find it. I'm still giggling about nut milk bag. This was the first batch. This is actually yogurt. Wow. So let me grab you a spoon. Heck this yes. is actually yogurt. But you can see I probably took out too much whey. I need it needs to be kind of mixed back up. That looks delicious. But, okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. How long does this take to make? Um about a day and a half, two days. Oh my gosh. Nobody's ever gonna buy yogurt again. They could just make it themselves. Now there's lots of people who are making yogurt. What I'm doing differently is I'm mixing milk with heavy cream to give it that super thick, creamy consistency. Oh my goodness. Let me try this. Again, this I, I strain this from the nut milk bag, but now what you would really do is come in and like really give it a good mix. So you can see that. Let me see. Wow. It is so rich. Wow. Now look at that. Wow. Is that yogurt or what? That is dairy. That is the way you're gonna eat yogurt. This is about um, probably one net carb or even less per serving. So now that we have all of the yogurt, it's in this nut milk bag. All we're gonna do, and see that way? That no way. That's usually what you're gonna have in your yogurt anyway. We're gonna strain it all out. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take a, like a wooden spoon, I'm gonna wrap this like this, and then take a rubber band, and I'm gonna tie it off. I can grab the rubber band. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang it like this, and then we'll come back tomorrow. I'll probably at some point have to raise it up a little bit because it'll be sitting in the way. And we'll come back in a few hours and you'll see this, will all that way will be out. All that way, that's the carbs. Get you it? You wanna get rid of that. No way. Okay, so now we're just gonna take this, stick it like this, put it in the refrigerator, and then we'll come back to it. Like tonight, I'll dump out any of the extra whey and then finish it off tomorrow morning. Have you been making a video about this, sir? I have not made a video. These have been test batches. So the first batch I did on a small scale, and when I did it, I couldn't taste it. I just knew it was the consistency I wanted. So then the next batch, I did it, but with a different kind of milk. So the, first, the, the middle batch that I did, and it did work, is I used this cream on top milk from Organic Valley. 
The difference though is this is only pasteurized milk, so you're really supposed to do an extra heating step. I'm making this all, by the way, in the Instant Pot. And so I decided to get this milk for this final batch, and I really like it because here's why. This milk here, this regular milk with the cream on top, is 150 calories in a serving, and it is 12 total carbohydrates with 11 grams of sugar in this one here. This one is ultra-filtered, ultra-pasteurized, which means we don't have to do that heating step, but here's the best part. 150 calories, 8 grams of fat, only 6 total carbohydrates in a cup with 6 total sugars. Wow. So this one's already starting off with less carbs, and then we're using heavy cream for 2 cups of it. So that's why you're gonna end up with like an almost zero carb at the end because all of the carbs that are left that the bacteria hasn't eaten, it's in that way and we're getting rid of that right now. Is it time to eat yet? I am ready to eat. It's time to eat, but I wanna play with Tabitha first. No. Tabitha! No, no, no. Tabitha! No, 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 Come no, no, no. baby. Tabitha, we're gonna eat some steak. No. We're gonna eat steak. No, it's mommy. Mommy's turn. Mommy's turn to eat. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. So we've got our sous vide machine here. This is the Anova. We love this thing. And uh, I got this thing on Amazon. I'll leave a link for it down below. Although we're gonna do what Chris does and he actually turned an old cooler into one, right? Yeah. So this is a ribeye that I just stuck in about a, 20 minutes ago. So we're gonna let this one keep cooking. Boys can eat that later. This, this is detour meats for the This children. is a couple of more boneless ribeyes that I had vacuum sealed in the freezer. Now it does look really disgusting right now, but all you do is you take this out and you're gonna stick it onto like a flat iron pan or on the grill, 30 seconds each side. And this is the best part though. Look at this. So we have oh my a four and a half pound prime rib. How beautiful is that? And uh, so we smoked this for I guess it was about three and a half hours to an internal temperature of about 120 degrees. And now it has been in this thing for 24 hours. Probably more than it needed, but I have a feeling this is gonna be the most tender prime rib ever. Okay, I'm just trying to get all of these juices out because we can use this for like a little bit of an au jus sauce. Although my plan is prime rib with Chef Shammy. Yes. It smells so good. Wow. Yeah, don't lose any of that juice. Hello, lover. It is three pounds and 10 ounces. So what are you eating? <laughs> three pounds, 10 ounces. You ready? I am so, so I think ready. we're going to cut this into what? Three steaks or two steaks? I think two steaks. Two steaks. Two steaks it is. And you're going to eat a one and three quarter pound steak. Challenge accepted. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Does that look good? Are you ready? Yes. And the reveal. Whoa. That looks so stinking beautiful. Look at that. Look at all that fat. Okay, here we go. That is a one pound, 12 ounce steak. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> it's what's for lunch. Well, here we go. Take a look at these two <laughs> plates. So we each have almost two pounds of prime rib. I think this should be enough to fill me up. What do you think? I will be shocked if you can actually eat this. I mean, I'm, I'm up for the challenge here. Okay, taste test, here we go. Then we're gonna go eat. I'm trying to get one. Ugh. How is that? Is that, that should be about medium rare? Oh yeah, it looks perfect. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be a good day. Live stream is gonna be fun tonight. I'll be asleep for that live stream. I think Rachel's getting full. This is a formidable opponent. 
You're halfway through. I mean, I'm powering through it, but I'm hurting at this point. Me? I still got all that left. Slacker. But this right here. Meat candy. Is the best. I mean, look at the way it just, you can, with your fork, look at that. It is like sugar. I mean, it is that sweet. It Talk is like eating down. sugar. Can she do it? I'm really trying, but I'm slowing down. Look at this. I feel like this is totally doable. But man, it's more formidable than it looks like. This is what I'm left with. And I pretty much at this point, like can't really eat anymore. So I'm sitting at the computer and then every time I get up and come to the kitchen, I just like take a bite and figure it'll take me an hour or so to eat that thing. Like what's left. Which is okay. How we doing? I finished it. I don't know how I finished it, but I finished it. What do you have left there? This is some butter. Butter? You're gonna throw out butter? You can't throw out butter. Uh, maybe I can put it in my coffee. Chef Chammy, garlic butter in your coffee? There you go. It's so good. Tabitha, I don't even think she can eat butter. Come Thanks. up and see mommy. Tabitha. She's proud of you. She's like, where's mine? She's like, I could totally have done that in like way less time if you would have just given it to me. I have like a half a steak left. It's in the fridge. Tabitha, does mommy have you locked out of the door? I'm sorry. Poor Tabitha is like sitting out here. Like, I want in. I know she does, but no. Nope. Still no. Just for mommy. Your hair matches your shirt. That was the idea. Purple on purple. And we got Tabitha these bones the other day, or a bone from, and there's she, like little shards yeah, everywhere. Yeah, she like shredded that thing. Yeah, that is the last time, and that was an actual dog bone. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance on her like getting that in her I'm finding tummy. them all over the house. She wanted all of the collagen. What are you doing? I am writing a, a blog post for our Patreons. Okay. A little thing that we're doing called Fearless Friday, where I just kind of send out a message to them. Cool. Are you going to give us a preview? No. I haven't finished yet. Oh, okay. So today when I was at work, I was listening to YouTube videos on the mower. Because what I do is when I go to work, I download a whole bunch of YouTube videos because there's not great internet service like where we're Ones working. Ones you don't have to see. Yeah, stuff that I don't have to see, stuff where I can just listen to. Like, that's how I educate myself. I listen to that and podcasts and books and things like that. And I have the YouTube Red. I don't know if you guys, all, any of you guys have the YouTube Red. Totally it is worth awesome. It. Number one, you don't have to watch commercials. Yes. It costs like $15 or $20 a month. We have the like family plan where five different people or six different people Thank can you for that. watch like YouTube Red and you get like the music and you don't have to watch commercials. But what's cool is you can download YouTube videos. Yeah. So I watch was later. listening to uh, the Strong Sisters. Have you ever watched any of their videos? Yes, the Strong Sisters. I'm like super jealous of them. I wish that I would have been 25 years old where I discovered like keto carnivore. Well, I love them. And I also like the fact that they have each other. Yeah, they do it together. And if you don't know who they are, I'll leave a link for it down for their channel down below. They're a set of sisters and they live a strict carnivore lifestyle. But they do it right. They do complete nose to tail. And when I say complete, everything. they're eating everything. Tongue. They're eating the tongue. Brains. The pancreas, the brains, the testicles. They eat it all. You know what's kind of hilarious is they're not a huge found, a fan of ground beef. Yeah, they don't like ground beef because they said it like it shrinks too much when you cook. So they get the chuck. But anyway, the, I was watching the video that they put up both the first time and the second time mm -hmm. where they bought a whole cow. Did they meet it? What do you mean did they meet it? Did they like no, face I, they to face meet the cow? They didn't show that part. If they did, they didn't show that part. But okay. they talk about how to buy your own cow, like go to a local farmer and that kind of stuff. I thought it was interesting. They bought their first whole cow the end of August, like August 30th, I think they said, of How 2019. Long did it last? And the video that I was watching now, which was their second time they're buying a cow, was January 15th, and they had finished the first cow. Wow. 480 pounds of meat. That's how much beef they're eating. 
But that is all that they're eating. Is well, they're eating that. Meat. And they said, well, they, they buy some eggs. Their grocery bill is like $50 a, a week or something like that. So not terrible. Yeah, it's not, definitely not terrible. But in the end, they're doing it for, number one, it's better. They're buying from a local farmer. Mm -hmm. But they're getting grass-fed, grass-finished beef for less than $5 a pound. So it's a huge investment in the front. It's a big investment up front, like a thousand to two thousand dollars, depending on if you're going to buy a half to a full cow. But we actually are seriously considering buying a full cow, and or at least a half a cow. And I was actually messaging Danny Vega earlier today. We were texting back and forth, and he said that he's got a farmer over near him. He lives about three hours west and north of us. We can't name it. Danny, we can't name it. And so uh, he's like, he's got a farmer, so he's hooking me up with a farmer, and I think we're gonna maybe take a ride over there, and sometime in the spring or something, I think we're gonna buy a cow. We have to empty out our freezer. I want at least a half a cow. So if there's any of you guys that are subscribers of us that maybe they, you live in South Florida or Central Florida that maybe want to go in on a cow. There you go. Like we would definitely be interested in splitting it, like us getting a half a cow and somebody else getting a half a cow. But we're going to meet up with this farmer, and I'm super excited because, number one, you know where the beef is coming from. I yeah. mean, after watching that, what was that, Rotten Show? Wow. I don't want to eat anything unless I've actually seen it slaughtered at this point. Seriously, because you don't know what all is added to it. And the other thing for me is I like supporting the local farmer. That's my big thing is, like, Man. if you don't support the, support the local farmer, like, they're going to go away. Yeah, and there are some things, like our food, that we don't want to have to outsource. Right. And not, you know, really have a hand in. Yeah, and I would much rather, I mean, if I have to pay a local farmer $7 a pound, but I can go to the grocery store and pay 5 or $6 a pound, I'd still rather go to the local farmer because, number one, I'm gonna be able to see it, where it's coming from, what, what, it's, what the conditions are. Like, I'm gonna, I would like to meet up with the farmer and find out, like, how exactly is he raising them, that kind of stuff. But then also, again, I get to support someone local. I don't have to worry about. I'm not contributing to the global warming by having it flown from another country or another state or anything. It'd be coming right here out of Florida. It's just our family supporting another family. Yeah. Let's. We have some videos to shoot. Let's go shoot some videos. Let's do it. What are you doing? I'm working on your hat. I finished the brim. It's going to be beautiful. I like that coloring. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a brown. Brownish with light browns, dark browns. It's nice. Well, we just finished our live stream. We went really long. I'm sorry. An hour and a half. I'm sorry about that. It's supposed to be an hour. We're sorry. We were long-winded. We're long-winded. We do try to get to all the comments, and I know, like, everybody likes to have fun trying to see, like, how far behind we can get. And then we actually have fun with it, so we're we not do. complaining about anything like that. But we do like to read all the comments because our whole thing is we like to engage with you guys. So we don't mind. We're getting married. We're getting married? Well, we're, when we're are we engaging. Getting married? We're, oh, we're, we're engaged with you. I got it. You so, did. So... Well, that is going to be today's What I Eat in a Day. What do we eat? Prime All rib. Meat. All of it. Prime rib and butter. We eat the whole cow. <laughs> Literally. Feels yeah. like it. I actually did not finish mine. I've got... Wimp. Probably, I want to say... Eight ounces, ten ounces maybe left. It took me a good two hours, but I finished it. No, I've got about Happy 10 plates. ounces left. Um, I'm not hungry, so that's a good thing, I guess. I may never I be hungry need again. To eat more, but I'm not going to. Uh, but what I did was I took it, I vacuum sealed it, because you really can't, prime rib doesn't reheat really well. No. So what I did was I vacuum sealed it, and I'm going to stick it back in the sous vide tomorrow, and oh. I'm going to eat it tomorrow. Because I figured if there's any way to, right I will eat it. I will definitely eat it, but... If there's any way to reheat it to a point where it's as good as it was or close to it, it would be with a sous vide, not sticking in a microwave or an oven or a pan or anything like that. I have some more advice for you, though. What? If you If you want another way of eating it, put it on top of a salad. It makes the most delicious. Well, I'll do salad steak topper. and eggs or like just slice it up thin or something like that. Eat it cold, but super soft. Yeah, I, I'm not giving up that fat. I will be eating it. I think it'll reheat pretty well in the sous vide. So if you don't like it, I'll eat it. 
What are we eating tomorrow? Chicken. Are we? Oh, we're we're considering buffalo wild wings. We haven't decided. Yet. I think we have enough points to get like free stuff. So, <laughs> well, that's gonna be today's what I eat in a day. We'll vlog another day sometime soon. Yeah. And let you guys see what we eat in other days. And also make sure you keep your eye out for that yogurt recipe that should be coming out in the next week or so so tasty and then now that i've got that one perfected i'm working on cottage cheese so that i can stop paying six dollars for good culture cottage cheese so there's two different ways you can make cottage cheese one is with rennet okay. animal rennet done that before the other way is with vinegar though a lot of people are going to say that that's not really cottage cheese uh, it does. Cheese. It does. It just the curds are a little bit different. They they're not as big. Um, I'm gonna make them both ways. See which way comes out better. Okay. But obviously, I have to modify a little bit for keto because I want it super high in fat. So probably gonna use the Fairlife milk again for that one as well. And uh, instead of cutting it with buttermilk, I'm thinking about cutting it with heavy cream to make it even fattier. You're a wild man. I'm working on it. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye.